The iPhone mini finally gets leaked on video, or so it seems. The HTC Perfume flagship specifications get mentioned in reports, and it seems that we're still too far away from folding displays. I'm Jaime Rivera, and if you can't wake up early, don't keep trying. Just don't. This is Pocket Now Daily. When it comes to the official news today, it's really about Microsoft and both good and bad things. In the good sense, uh, hey, if you want a Surface 3, it's currently discounted around 150 bucks if you want the 128 gigabyte variant, which is good. But then again, for those of you using the Surface Pro 4 or Surface Pro 3, there is a recall in power adapters because apparently it is a fire hazard. And there's just so much more to know about how to qualify to get a replacement. Links in the description as Microsoft has already confirmed that they will be recalling them. You know, a really cool thing about starting a new year is analytics. Yeah, I know, I'm kidding. But uh, hey, we get a lot of that right now, particularly because we know exactly what happened in 2015, what to expect for 2016. And just like we heard about uh, smartphone sales for this year, now we hear about what to expect for app downloads, as uh, we've got analytics already confirming that, number one, even though the Google Play Store is selling, or should I say downloading, twice as many apps as iOS, that sort of makes sense because there are a lot more Android phones in the market than iPhones. But then when you start looking at these stats from a money perspective, Apple is actually making twice the money. And uh, we would love to know in the comments down below why you think that is. And for all three of you that uh, fell in love with the idea of foldable displays coming out in H2 of 2016 because folding your phone is something you actually like doing, for some people, I guess. Uh, well, we got some very interesting trusted sources claiming that apparently it's not gonna happen. Apparently the technology is not there yet. They're having issues with finding the right amount of radius for you to actually be able to fold a, a display or a phone. And uh, even though we still haven't seen the first foldable battery out there for that to actually work or foldable materials like aluminum, stay tuned. Apparently it'll happen in 2017 now. Now let's talk about HTC, even though the company has claimed that their whole Vive project is more important than smartphones. We do know that the company wants to make a comeback in smartphones and the HTC codename Perfume is going to be part of it. We have rumors that the phone might not be ready for MWC, which is okay. I mean, hey, as long as they announce something early this year, it'll make sense. But we also hear another thing, which is rather interesting. It seems that we will get two flavors of processors, which would kind of be a first for HTC. Not necessarily though, we have seen a previous case, but apparently the Snapdragon 820 will be an optional variant in addition to a MediaTek variant. So we kind of know that that MediaTek variant is probably going to be for China. Stay tuned. Hopefully we learn more at MWC, at least some teasers. And finally, the very hot news today all around have to do with the iPhone mini. There is this video that leaks the iPhone mini in theory. And uh, if you trust the video, which I kind of don't, it seems that it'll look identical to an iPhone 6S which is rather bad because, well, hey, it's not like if the design of the iPhone 5S was bad to actually change it and bring these horrible antenna lines and everything, but it seems that that's what Apple wants to do. But the reason why I kind of don't believe in these leaks is because this phone doesn't look any different to a 4.7 inch iPhone up to the speaker grills, which is rather not logical. There should be some scaling here, just like we see with the iPhone 6S Plus, but it leads me to the question of the day. Do you believe in these leaks? And if you do, uh, would you like an iPhone that's smaller and that looks identical to the current models? Because in my case, I don't believe it and no, but leave us a comment down below. Hey, I could be wrong. Friends, you know the drill. If you want to get the news earlier before this video was filmed, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. You can now also follow us on Vessel at Vessel.com slash pocketnow. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.